guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So, what better way to kick off the new year than to do some semi-annual sale coverage? It is the one thing I look forward to once Christmas is over, because I know it can be so sad packing away all the decorations and the tree, and when everything's put away. It's just, it's kind of a sad time, because it was the best time. And, uh, so it's over with, and that's why I love looking forward to semi-annual sales, because not only is it old stuff, new stuff, it's dirt cheap. Um, you know, I usually tell everybody at Christmas to try to get me some gift cards, at least so I can kind of get some, um, products going. So, um, I was fortunate enough to get a couple of gift cards from Bath & Body Works anyway. So, this is everything that I have bought from Bath & Body Works since the day after Christmas. Um, Victoria's Secret started theirs today, and I've been to Yankee, but I haven't done very much, and I'm going to be going back soon. So, I'm going to do those videos, like, a little later in the week, probably over the weekend. Um, once I kind of get everything together, um, Victoria's Secrets isn't as long. Theirs is only two weeks long. Um, but Yankee and Bath and Body Works both start after Christmas and they go till I think around the 20s or so in January. It's a little bit longer. So I just want to share with you guys some of my findings. The coolest thing, other than it being really cheap, is the fact that every store is going to have different products, much less every district, region, state. Um, that's what's really cool. So I love watching you guys' videos as well because you may find things that I will never find or I might find things you didn't find or, you know, maybe you paid 75% off or something when I only got half. So it's always really kind of cool and neat to see um, what everybody gets into, what they go crazy over. One thing about myself is I'm not one for stockpiling per se. As weird as it is and as much as I love all these companies, even as cheap as stuff can be, I never really buy um, more than one of something unless it's just a really, really good deal. Um, and But I just don't dig it that much. I would rather have like one of everything, kind of a novelty standpoint, than to just have stockpiles of one fragrance. Um, the only thing that I've ever done that with was Into the Wild because I really did like that one. And I got like two sprays, two showers, you know, I only got like two of everything. But um, if there's ever a tip or a trick, I know we're already getting pretty well into the season but and the sales, but if there's ever anything offer advice I could offer you guys, it would be um, don't overdo it, especially if you're not sure um, or if it's something you've been carrying around and you're like, you know, this just, I don't love it, but it's, hey, it's $3. You know, that's the biggest thing I've had to teach myself to do is a little self-restraint because I'm the sucker for the, the price rather than the product. And you know, yes, earlier on you go, the better, um, you know, variety you'll get to pick of things, the better assortment of things, but the longer you wait, the cheaper it may go. So, you know, the things I have here are the things I really wanted first. And then I just kind of piddle after that till about the end of the sale because, you know, there's not, I mean, there's a few things I love to have, but, you know, I try to pick and choose my favorites and so that's kind of how I end up with the products that I end up with is because it's just stuff that spoke to me personally that I was really after and it was a deal I couldn't pass up. I mean, even the Paris line, the From Paris With Love collection, I when I saw that all of it was $5, the sprays, the fine fragrance mists were, the big, huge Eiffel Tower shimmer mist, I had to have self-control because I already have plenty of it from the last one. I haven't really used it. I've been using other stuff lately. And, um, you know, it's just, I knew better than to just blow all my money on things that I already had rather than the things that may be to come or may go cheaper. So that's just my personal tip as well as using coupons. Um, even if it's as simple as the survey coupons, you know, spending 30, getting your 10 off and you only pay 20, you can't beat it. Victoria's Secret has the exact same survey except theirs is 10 when you spend 50, so you would spend $40. But I'm the only person I know that really gets into Victoria's Secret stuff, so I don't know. I'd love still love to see you guys' videos once you start going, if you do go there. But I will just walk you through. This is just Bath & Body Works and what I've gotten since the day after Christmas. So starting, I just grabbed one random pair of socks. I did get several pair for Christmas. This was just one, um, the stripe design that I didn't end up getting. And I really loved it. It was half off, so I love the red and the white stripes because it completely reminds me of my Alabama Crimson Tide. So I wanted to wear these on the 7th when the National Championship game is here. So I wanted to get some red and white striped ones. And half off, can't beat that. And also half off. I got this hand soap, which I know it was the little collection of four that was more of a high-end kind of version, which you can't, I mean, it's a huge bottle. 
Even though it was originally $9.50, I mean, this is a massive amount of soap. And Applewood Orchard was my favorite. Um, they only had this one in Plum One Amber at first, and then suddenly one day they threw the other two into the bin. Either they just got a shipment of it or whatever. But this was my personal favorite. Um, I don't necessarily stockpile on hand soaps because my husband is a guy. He doesn't like the smelly good stuff when he washes his hands. He just likes good old, like, dial, scent, you know, scentless soap. So I don't go crazy on soaps because I'm the only one who's using them. I mean, with the exception of people in, like, the guest bathroom. But, um, you know, I try to rotate all my soaps and try to use them because I wash my hands quite often. But it does take me a while solo to go through. So that's why I actually only have four soaps total. But I grabbed this. It was $1.25. I just wanted to get something to put me at my $30. I was just below. But it smells so good. This little I Love Bubblegum pocket back smells just like it. Just just like um, the round balls of bubblegum. So it was so cute. I just had to grab something for like a buck. I got the um, soap toppers. This one's half off. I had plenty Christmas ones. But this one I love. This diamond look. Because it's just, you could use it year round. It doesn't make me think winter or Christmas per se. And the other three soaps I got, Cinnamon Heaven was one that they brought out, just kind of specially for the sale. But I do love it because it doesn't scream fall or Christmas to me. I could definitely use it for the remaining of the winter, so I do love that one. Cucumber Melon, oldie but goodie. Um, I'm really sad that the body care is not out this time around, but I'm sure it will come back in the summer. I know they have to kind of pick and choose what they release. They're trying to get rid of certain things, and some stuff they just can't give away, but... When Cucumber Melon comes back, I will be the first to grab it. And these are my favorite soaps. I love the beaded um, deep cleansing anti-back ones. And this one I never got at the end of summer, the Cool Summer Splash. I love it, and they only have it in the foaming right now, which I'm not a huge fan of foaming. I've just never cared for it. My husband, he said he might use this one, so this one he might actually help me use. Um, but I do love this scent, and I wished I could find more of it, but... Maybe they'll come back with something pretty similar this summer. And then in the back, um, you know, I call it the New Year's collection because it's every year and it's just after New Year's and it's a drink, little drink collection. Absolutely love them. I've only ever bought the lotions. This is the first time I, I wanted to get the little collection of each. So at $3 a piece, you could not beat it. So Jingle Bellini, which is like a peach fragrance. I got the Shimmer Mist, the Shower Gel, and Lotion as well as getting the Vanilla Teeny ah, whoopsies. and Strawberry Sparkler. How could anything that's strawberry not smell fantastic? So I finally got those for the first time ever. And then over here, um, the pink lotion, it is the Fresh and Clean, which is like the blue capped pink um, fragrance. I love pink products. I only ever buy the sprays. This was 75% off, so I paid $3.75 for it. Cannot do any better than that. That is phenomenal. And I rarely have, I only have like two lotions, I think, that are pink. So I wanted to get this, and these things are huge. Like, they are massively big things of lotion. It will take me like a lifetime to go through. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. And I also grabbed in the $3 bin the P.S. I Love You Shower Gel. P.S. I Love You is actually one of my personal all-time favorites. Um, I rarely use my sprays for that reason because I never can find the spray of it and I, it's one of my favorites. But I figured since I had the shower gel, I might could use it for a little bit because now that I have something to go with it. And also I got the Flawless Gold was marked down to $5. They had the lip glosses. They have this, which is the 24 karat um, foam bath and cleanser as well as the powder sprays. I got it in Paris Amore. Um... I was going to buy the powder spray to go with it, but I carried it around for a little bit and I just wasn't sure about it. And like I recommended, if you're not quite sure about it, you know, grab it later if it's still there or, you know, definitely grab it at the time when you want it. But it was one of those for me. It doesn't, it wasn't screaming at me. I wasn't overly just excited about it and wanted it. So I may grab it when I go back, but starting out, I really wanted to at least get the cleanser to give a try. So that was kind of my personal battle between those. I've been burning the one wicks of both Yankee Candle and Bath and & Body Works um, in my bedroom lately, and it's actually doing a lot better than I thought, so I decided just to pick up, since it was half off as well, just a one wick candle holder, just something basic that could be used all throughout the year. So I wanted to grab a new holder, and I wanted to grab a few candles as well. So the candles were $4, and same scenario, I wanted things that were neutral. I didn't want to get things that were 
Christmas or fall scented. So the first one I grabbed was Cinnamon Sugar Donut because it's a good sweet bakery, perfect any time of year. And this one my husband actually picked out because Bonfire Maplewood is kind of like a woodsy neutral one. And I figured, what the heck, he actually picked one out, which means he would approve. And I got to represent him sometimes because we both don't dig the heavy florals or heavy, like, I mean, sometimes fruit we both like. But, you know, we try not to do something too powerful in the bedroom, so, because it's a smaller space. And I loved the Boardwalk collection, so they had two random outs, um, random ones from that collection out. So they had Beach Cabana and Beach Grass, which are both just good, clean, um fresh types of fragrances. I love those. I haven't even burned the candles anymore because I'm like, don't want to lose them. So I've been weird about it, but I love the Boardwalk collection. It's one of the only ones where I just was obsessed with every candle in that collection for a long time. And then of course we get to the fun rare finds, the ones that were in test modes, but never made it um, nationally. I never did make any um, test orders after like the first fall round because I just started working a lot. I didn't have time. By the time I thought about it, they were sold out and I'd forget about it, you know, and I just kind of skipped over it the rest of the year. So I don't know if I may try to do another one coming up soon. By the time I think about it now, I might as well wait till the spring stuff's in stores. So maybe by the next summer fall groups, I'll start doing some orders again. I found the one wick Black Forest Woods first and then went to a different store and managed to find the three wick ones. So I just decided to keep both because they will get used very lovingly. And this I didn't find right away. I found it actually about a week or two later, about a week and a half later. It was this, yeah, it was like, yeah, two days ago that I found this actually. Farm Apple Cookie, which is not the best um, bakery fragrance in the world, but it's worth getting the little four ounce of it. It's nice and sweet. It has like a caramel apple scent to it, and I was actually laughing because the first thing that came, like a mental image that came to my mind is, um, my husband loves Taco Bell, so we go there frequently, but the little dessert they have, the caramel apple empanadas, if you've ever had one, it smells just like those taste, which is actually really good. It's my fa one of my favorite like fast food desserts you could ever buy, and that smells just like it, so I do love that. And also, we've found chocolate bacon cupcake and I know everybody's been making their rounds talking about it. I never got it because I, like I said I didn't do any orders and by the time I wanted to it was sold out everywhere. They had four sitting on the counter. My sister was with me so we each got one for sure and we just kind of looked at them and looked at each other. It was like why not? We grabbed the other one because it was that is something that I don't mind buying more than one of because that's just how I am. So we both grabbed two of those and are back to my, I don't know if anybody else is like this. You'll have to tell me. But in the time since the day after Christmas, our candles anyway at the store, and this is a big store. Like, this is the one that they wanted to turn into a tester store, which whether they do or not, who knows, but um, is a huge store. Like, a two different section store. You know, the candle, the white barn stuff's on one side. And all those candles are down to one measly table that's like the size of this table in here that I use. Like, that's about it. And that's it. So, of course, anything like chocolate bacon cupcake or the Black Forest Woods are gone. And as well as um, the ones here that they brought out. I, I grabbed an Island Nectar. Um, I wanted to grab Coconut Lime Verbena. Didn't. I did that last Emmanuel sale because I expected it to hang around, but it didn't. I went back a few days later. It was already gone. So, at least I got Island Nectar. I think he was worth the, um, the whoopsie of just <laughs> not getting the other one that I've been wanting forever. And one other thing I just bought for my candles, this was from the From Paris With Love collection. I managed to find this at one of the last stores that I went to that was a little bit out of my way, but it was half off, and I wanted it forever, and I just kept forgetting about it. So for half off, I figured, why not? Um, it will definitely go into my bedroom with all of my, of course, French decor. So I do love that. And yeah, so these are my findings thus far for the season. Like I mentioned, I will be going to Yankee Candle and Victoria's Secret um, one day this week, so I will be getting my stuff from there that I'll probably just do like a collab video. It depends on how much I find, I guess, but um, I may collab those together. But I figured Bath & Body Works was the bigger juggernaut that I needed to feature it kind of in one little set. So I would love for you guys to share with me your semi-annual sale findings or anything you might get wind of, something that might be coming out or a sale price that might be going down or, well, up, I guess. Um, you know, so always use your coupons, always use your better judgment, you know, don't get yourself into deep 
or pick out way too much and you're not sure if, if it's worth it, you know, if you're not sure, then just put it back. That's the only way I know to recommend it. Um, if you do love a particular fragrance, maybe one that's retiring like Dark Kiss or Love of Love or something, which most of those are already gone by now, but something like that, if you ever really got into it, then definitely get it. You know, stockpile on it because it will not come back. Some stuff you kind of, you can tell their patterns when it's going to come back. So use your better judgment and always go with your gut. And thanks for stopping by, you guys. I will be going to those stores soon and I will be doing some videos this coming weekend. So I hope you guys had wonderful holidays, Christmas time, wonderful New Year's, better way to kickstart it with the semi-annuals. And I will see you guys later. Bye.